Well, good morning, everybody. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad to be joined this morning by Congresswoman Susan Wild of Pennsylvania's 7th Congressional District and Rick Kokus, the Interim Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Director at the United Way of Lackawanna and Wayne Counties. Uh, Rick is a CPA and we're going to be talking about taxes today in a good way. Uh, so much of what the American Rescue Plan did was to get money in the pockets of people through the efforts of the Internal Revenue Service. The IRS that everybody loves to hate uh, is a big agent of helping people through the pandemic. And that's what we're here to talk about, the importance of getting your taxes filed by May 17 so you can take advantage of the child tax credit that got expanded. Two months after Congresswoman Wild and I helped enact the American Rescue Plan, it continues to deliver shots in arms, money in pockets, children in schools and people in jobs. Today, we're here to talk about more money that's coming soon to the, the pockets of hardworking moms, dads, and caretakers to combat child poverty here in Pennsylvania, thanks to this law in the form of advanced payments of the expanded child tax credit. Now, the American Rescue Plan made the child tax credit fully refundable for 2021 and increased the annual amount from the current $2,000 per child to $3,000 per child. And for children under age six, the maximum is as much as $3,600. This is such an important part of this law because after a year in which so many parents and children faced greater education, housing, and food security challenges, we want to make sure our kids are set up for success going forward. This is money in pockets to help with child care, getting school supplies, buying groceries, putting gas in the car and more, things that got a lot harder for so many people because of this COVID-19 pandemic. Now this enhanced benefit is a foundation to jumpstart kids learning and it enable more parents to get back to work again. Here in Pennsylvania's eighth congressional district, it is estimated that 126,000 children will benefit from this expanded and improved child tax credit. That is 90, 90% of all of the children in my district. And families with children in poverty will receive on average $5,000 per family. But here's the thing, these monthly payments, they depend on you filing your taxes. Even if you don't make enough money to file for taxes, if you don't file for taxes, your receipt of this money could be delayed. These monthly payments could come as soon as July, and for every month through the end of this year, that is December of 2021, families who qualify can get up to $300 per month for children ages zero to five and $250 per month for children ages six to 17. They will receive the remaining portion of this expanded child tax credit as part of their 2021 tax return. But the way eligible families can ensure they get their full accurate benefit as soon as possible is by filing a 2020 tax return ahead of the deadline this coming Monday. That includes people who lost their jobs during the pandemic or don't normally file a return. The IRS needs the information from a tax return to calculate and send out the payments. If you don't do it, you could miss out on this child, this child help. It's going out to everybody. If you still need to file, there are resources available, such as the IRS free file toolkit online. We're dropping that link in the comments on Facebook below. And we also have Rick Kokus uh, on the line who leads the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program at the Lackawanna and Wayne County United Way. He's gonna tell you more about how to do this and offer some additional guidance about claiming this benefit. But before that, I want you to hear from my value colleague, Susan Wild from the Lehigh Valley, to say a few words about the importance of getting your taxes filed by May 17th. Susan? Thank you so much, Matt. And uh, you really said it all very well. And I'm just gonna reinforce a couple of 
those points, um, but you, Matt, are a great partner in these events and, and the outreach about critical programs like this. Um, I, I don't think we can possibly overstate the tremendous good that the American Rescue Plan has been doing for families in Pennsylvania. Um, and we, Matt talked about the targeted relief checks and the vaccine distribution and, of course, the small business help. But seeing this expanded and improved child tax credit is just, I, I call it a game changer. It's a game changer for lower income and middle class families alike. Um, but the main thing, as Matt said, is that you absolutely must file with the IRS in order to receive it. And so I've been encouraging people to, I mean, May 17th, um, the deadline is right around the corner Monday, but I've been asking people to try to file as quickly as possible so that they can get in the queue with the IRS. We know the IRS has been incredibly busy over the last year with getting out stimulus and relief checks and that kind of thing. And so it's just very, very important that people get their paperwork in. Um, I use paperwork loosely. Most of it can be done online now. Um, and, they, and, and that they make sure that everything in there is accurate um, so that their return can be processed as quickly as possible. Um, I, I just want to mention some statistics from my district. Matt talked about the fact that this will affect about 90% of the children in his district. Mine is very similar. 85% of the children in my district are going to be helped by this child expanded child tax credit. Um, and, and that's just a staggering number. It, it's um, a roughly 133,000 children. So um, on average, families are going to receive $2,900. Um, for families in poverty, that number can be as high as an average of $5,000. That's per family, not per child. Um, and so it, it's not only a critical lifeline to families in poverty, who obviously have struggled so badly over the past year, but also for middle class families. It's a big lift for them as well. There's been a lot of difficulty um, with people having lost their jobs, having reduced hours if they managed to keep their jobs. It really, people who have been uh, weathering the last year by the skin of their teeth. And Matt and I both have heard from so many of them the difficulties they're having putting food on the table for their children, making sure they've got a roof over their heads and just paying their, their ordinary bills. So I'm really, really happy that we have been able to get this through as part of the American Rescue Plan. And um, I think it's the, the, the best thing that the best message we can get out right now to people is about this provision of the American Rescue Plan, that it exists because so many people just don't seem aware of it. And the urgency for them to get their tax filing done prior to May 17th. So with that, um, you know, I just want to say that I'm thrilled on behalf of the people of Pennsylvania 7 some of the hardest working people and families that I know. Um, they want to work, they want to help grow our economy, and of course they want to help, uh, they want to build better lives for their children. So I'm very, very happy to have uh, passed this American Rescue Plan. And I'm so happy that we were able to get the um, all important expanded child tax credit through. So with that, um, I'll pass it off back to you, Matt. Thank you, Susan. That's well said. Uh, look, uh, uh, thank you everyone on this Zoom call for joining us and helping us get the word out. People who haven't been normally filing taxes because they have next to nothing coming in, for example, need to file taxes by Monday, um, May 17, or else, you know, they're going to miss out uh, on, on this uh, this wonderful supplement to the income uh, uh, for the, the, the families uh, who need the help with the children. Now, it doesn't really make sense to have a discussion about the IRS or taxes if you don't have a CPA within, within reaching distance, and we do. And uh, uh, we have a wonderful CPA, and, and he's a volunteer with the United Way of Lackawanna and Wayne Counties. Uh, and it's Rick Kokus. And Rick, I want you to weigh in on this. Uh, uh, I yield the floor to you. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to thank you, Congressman and Congresswoman, for having me join you both today. Uh, it's a pleasure and an honor. And yeah, I would just like to dive into exactly what you're both saying, which is this is a great credit that people need to claim if you qualify. So if you have a qualifying child, 
that could be reported on your 2020 tax return, take advantage of it and get it in by Monday because that is the only way to get the advance payments. It should start in July, um, depending on how things go. Um, but again, if you don't claim the child on your 2020 taxes or if you don't file your 2020 taxes, now you're going to wind up waiting until you file your 2021 tax return, which is going to open up in February of 2021. So you're waiting an extra six to eight months to get this benefit. And again, this is an extra 3000 to 3600 per child. Okay, so if you have multiple children, you're going to get an increased benefit from this. And that's the same with the monthly payments. It's $300 per month that you're going to get early for one child if they're under six years old. If you have multiple children under six years old, it's $300 per child. Okay, so again, that monthly payment that's going to be coming your way if you file by Monday can be increased okay, exponentially. And it could be a big help for you and your children and your family. Um, so take advantage of it. And again, the best way is to make sure you file your 2020 tax return. On that tax return, even if your income is limited, you normally want to need to file a tax return. File anyways. You know, this is the best way to get you that money uh, sooner rather than later. And you just want to report on there your qualifying children. So again, any children you're responsible for, ages uh, under six years old, will get you that $3,600 amount. Six to 17, as Congressman Cat Cartwright said, will get you $3,000. You want to put it on there, you'll see on the 1040 page two, it's line 19 where you report the child tax credit. Uh, the child tax credit for 2020, if you're a single filer, is for anyone making under $200,000 a year. There is a phase out when you get over that. Um, so just keep that in mind though, if you're making under $200,000 a year, you're going to get $2,000 per child for your 2020 tax return. Okay. And again, that's how you're going to report it on your 2020 tax return. And then the IRS is going to use that information from that tax return to start giving you advanced payments. Okay. And this is going to be estimated for your 2021 tax return. Um, so on your 2020 taxes, you will not see the $3,600 amount. For example, if you have a child under six years old and you claim the child tax credit for 2020, you won't see the $3,600. Again, this is for 2021, but they're going to start paying it out in 2020. So when you do your taxes, don't get worried or upset if you don't see a checkbox for anything specific regarding the $3,600 credit. You won't see any place to put it in. It's going to be the original $2,000 credit, but this is how the IRS will go forward and give you those estimated payments. Okay, so it's important to get that through. Um, and as Congressman Cartwright shared, there is the IRS tool for it. Uh, we also offer, if you visit our website, uwlc.net, you can find a link for myfreetaxes.com, uh, which is an online do-it-yourself partner of the VITA program, where you could go on and file your own taxes, either by yourself or there is live help. Uh, that you could call in, get that assistance to walk you through it. Um, this way, if you are at all intimidated by the tax forms themselves, there's great help to assist you with it, and you could still get it in by Monday. You have plenty of time. Uh, that's really my spiel. Um, any questions, though, hit me with them. I'll be glad to help out and answer. Well, good. Thanks, Rick, and uh, thanks for all the, the volunteer work that you do. Uh, I think probably the most important thing we need to do is get the word out on how to file taxes. You know, for people who have not regularly been filing taxes or may not have been doing so for years, uh, uh, things like what you just provided us, the link, uh, we're going to get that out. And Matt, I want you to make sure uh, you, you get that out to all of the, the press who are uh, engaged with us today. And I'm going to turn it back to you, Matt Slavosky, for, uh, for questions and answers. Thank you, Congressman, and thank you, Congressman Wild and uh, Rick Kokos for, for joining us. And uh, at this time, we're going to conclude the Facebook Live portion as we move to the Q&A for our members of press in the room. For Thank you, everybody, for watching on Facebook.